As I mentioned earlier, the data property is nothing but a JavaScript object. Therefore, it can contain multiple name value pairs. However, there are a couple of things you need to make note of when it comes to Vue.js. Unlike vanilla JavaScript, Vue does not encourage data property names that begin with a dollar sign or an underscore. This is because the two symbols are used internally by Vue.js and conflicts can be avoided. It is also important to be aware that data properties can only be modified. You cannot add or remove data properties at runtime. For example, we have the data property name in our example. So during runtime, it is not possible with any code to add new data properties if required or remove existing data properties if you feel they are unnecessary. So you cannot add a new property like age, for example, during runtime or delete this existing name property. If you really want to use an age property, but you're unsure of the value, assign it a value of zero and use it when required. Now, because of this, the data object is kind of like a schema or a model for your view instance. Any developer will know just by looking at the data property what are the different properties that are involved in that particular view instance. And if you ask me, that is kind of a good thing. You know beforehand what you're working with and there will not be any unexpected data entering or leaving your view instance. All right, now that we have an idea on data properties, let's take a look at the various ways we can bind the data from this data object to our template which represents the UI. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.